How are you, Shamir and Amina? I'm good. I'm good. MashaAllah, that's great. All right, just repeat. Alhamdulillah, I'm also fine, man. Thank you. All right, just repeat after me. A'udhu Billahi. A'udhu Billahi. Minash Shaita. Minash Shaita. Nir Rajim. Nir Rajim. Bismillah. Bismillah. Hir Rahma. Hir Rahma. Nir Rahim. Nir Rahim. All right, Shamir and Amina, both of you guys, just raise your one hand, any hand in the air like this. Can you see my image, by the way? Yes. Okay. But just raise your one hand, place your index finger of the second hand on, at the side and suppose that this is your tongue. Suppose that this is your tongue and you are touching your the index finger of your one hand at the side. So suppose that this is the left side of your tongue. Shamir and Amin, are you getting my point? Yeah. All right. Now what you need to do, you need to touch the left side of the tongue at the left roof of the mouth. You need to touch the left side of the tongue at the left roof of the mouth. <clears throat> now, I will show you some diagrams <clears throat> in order to further clarify this. All right. So, look here, <clears throat> this is the image of the mouth, these are the upper teeth, this is the left side of the tongue, Shamir and Amina, is it visible? Yes. Yeah, this is the left side of the tongue, it is touching left roof of the mouth. <clears throat> now let me show you another diagram. Here, this, this is the side view of the mouth. Left side of the tongue is touching left roof of the mouth. Is the position of the tongue clear? Yes. Okay. Now what you need to do is place the left side of the tongue, left roof of the mouth. And you have to say the letter WAD. First of all, Shamir, you say WAD. WAD. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Wad is a heavy letter. It is a soft letter. We have to touch the left side of the tongue at the left roof very gently and softly. It is a heavy letter. It has the A oh sound in it. So this is the letter Wad. Say Wad. 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 <coughs> All right, Amina. You say Wad. Wad. No, do not say Wad. Don't read it in nose. Say instead, Lord. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please hold the mic in your mouth, uh, uh, in your hand, Amina. Say it out loud, Lord. Lord. Yeah, one more time, Lord. 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 Try to put my tongue in that spot. What? I can't find that spot in my mouth, like the left Just side. try it, just try it. Lord. Lord. No, don't say Lord. Don't read it in nose. Say instead, Lord. Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> Do not worry. Okay, it will take some time. This is the left side of the tongue, touching left roof of the mouth. Lord, alongside these five teeth. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Alongside these five teeth, you are going to place the tip of the tongue at the left roof of the mouth. Try to place your tongue again. Try to say the letter Lord. Lord. 
Vod. Zon. Yeah, yeah. Try one more time loudly. Vod. Zon. Yeah, good job. Vod. At the end, there will be dal sound at the end. Vod. Yeah, Vod. Vod. <clears throat> yeah, good job. All right, now there is a difference between this letter and the letter wa the sound of wa and wad is very very similar however there is a major difference between these two letters so In the letter of wa, which is the sister of ta, we earlier learned that the tip of the tongue is touching at the back side of the upper bunny teeth. Is it correct? Yes. Yeah. So, suppose that this is the upper tooth. And this is the tongue. The tip of the tongue is touching at the back side, <clears throat> at the back side of the upper bunny teeth. So here, this is the letter wa. Say wa. Wa. Yeah, good job. Now comes the letter wa od. <clears throat> now. You need to remember the positioning of the tongue. So in the letter Wad, <clears throat> it is the left. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, it is the left side of the tongue, which is touching left roof of the mouth. So the left side of the tongue. Is touching left roof of the mouth in the letter wad, whereas in the letter wa, the tip of the tongue is touching at the back side of the upper tooth. So, even though the sound of both of these letters is very similar, the positioning of the tongue will determine the correct pronunciation of the alphabets. Are you getting my point, Shamir and Amina? Yes. Okay. So the sound of wa will come from the front side of the mouth, from the top front side of the mouth. Whereas in the letter wa, the sound will come from the left side of the mouth. Now is the difference clear? Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Very much so. Inshallah, when we will start reading the uh, in the Arabic words and later on the Quran, then with practice you will further, you will be able to differentiate between the two alphabets. Are you getting my point, Shamir and Amin? Are both of you guys? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good job. You just have to keep these points in mind and our alphabets are complete today. So Shamir, which letter is this? Aleph. And Amina, you tell me which letter is this? Aleph. Good job. Shamir, you tell me which letter is this? Dal. Good job. And where do we touch our tongue in the letter Dal? The hill. At the hill. Good job. Amina, you tell me which letter is this? Da. All right, Amina, you tell me which letter is this? Ra. Okay, is Ra a light letter or a heavy one? A heavy letter. A heavy letter, good job. Uh, what is the sign of a heavy letter? It has an R sound in it. Good job. And what is the sign of a light letter? It does not have an R sound in it. Brilliant. Good job. Okay. Shamir, which letter is this? Ba. How many dots does Ba have? 
one is it at the top or the bottom bottom good job amina which letter is this ba. what does ba look like what's the shape of the letter ba it, it it looks like a boat with a dot at the bottom good job mashallah all right shamir which alphabet is this ta ta where do we touch our tongue in ta also <laughs> it's a uh, yeah the hill yeah good job at the hill all right amina which letter is this ta is it a soft or a hard one soft letter yeah it's a soft letter all right amina you tell me which letter is this dal dal do where do we touch our tongue in dal um the back side of the upper teeth not at all at the edge of the upper tooth at the edge of okay. <clears throat> yeah all right shamir which letter is this dal yeah is dal a soft letter or a hard one soft letter good job okay amina which letter is this za sa ta one sa. more time sa sa yeah where sa. where do we place our tongue in sa at the tip of the upper teeth brilliant at the edge of the upper tooth and <clears throat> yeah and Shamir, which letter is this? <clears throat> sa. No, it is sa. Okay. Sa. Yeah, just remember it. How many dots does sa have? Three. Good job. Okay, Amina, which letter is this? Jim. Jim, brilliant. Jim looks like a duck in the water. All right, Shamir, which letter is this? Jim. How many dots does it have? One. Good job. Okay, Amina. Which letter is this? Ha. Ha. Where do we read ha from? The middle row. Good job, Shamir. Which letter is this? Ha. Ha. Is ha a sharp letter or a soft one? It's sharp. It's sharp. All right. Good job. <clears throat> All right. I'm in now. Which letter is this? Ha. Ha. Okay. I'm in now. You tell me. Where do we read the letter ha from? The uh, the top throat. The top throat. And Shamir, which letter is this? Ha. Ha. Is it a heavy letter or a light one? Heavy. Heavy letter. Does it have a scratchy sound? Yeah. Good job. All right. <clears throat> Now, I mean, you tell me which letter is this? Za. Za. Is za a hard letter or a soft one? Um. Soft. No, it's a hard letter. We use force in it. And what do you think? Where do we touch our tongue in za? Um, nowhere. Nowhere. Brilliant. Good job. All right, Shamir. Which letter is this? Za. Za. Is it a light letter or a heavy one? Light. Light letter. What's the sign of a light letter? If it doesn't have the aw sound, it's a light letter. Good job. Brilliant. You are a genius. All right, Amina. Which letter is this? Um, one of the dots or not? I am talking about this one. Which letter is this? Seen. All right, seen. And where do we touch our tongue in seen? Um, nowhere. Brilliant, mashallah. You are a genius. You are very smart. All right, how many spikes does seen have? She has three spikes. Three spikes, and does it have a belly? Yes. All right. How many bellies does it have? One. One. All right. Good job, Shamir. Also, I have a, I have yeah. A go on. Go on. Um. 
Does the belly count as a spike? No, not at all. Okay. Belly is a separate like... thing and spikes are separate things. <clears throat> Inshallah, we will uh, very soon learn the combination of alphabets and half shapes of the letters. Then further, you will be clarified that then in combination, there will be no bell belly anymore. There will be only spikes. So you have asked a very brilliant question. Inshallah, uh, we will learn further and you will be clarified more. But for the time being, just keep that in mind. The belly does not count as a spike. This is one, this is two, and this is number three. And the belly starts from below number three spike. Okay, belly starts from here and ends here. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Shamir, which letter is this? Seen. Okay, seen. Can you imagine any English alphabet which has this sound of this letter? C. C. Good job. What about the za? Does it have an English alphabet sound? Yes. We Z. Z. Good job. All right. Okay, Amina. Which letter is this? Sheen. Sheen. All right. What's the visual difference between sheen and seen? Sheen has three dots on top of the three spikes. <laughs> Brilliant. Good job. All right. Shamir, which letter is this? Sheen. Sheen. One more time. Sheen. Good job. Okay, Amina, which letter is this one? Sod. Where do we touch our tongue in sod? Nowhere. At the back side of the lower tooth. Okay. Okay, at the back side of the lower teeth. So this is sod. Say sod again. Sod. Okay, Shamir, which letter is this? Sod. Sod, one more time. Sod. Yeah, good job. All right, Amina, which letter is this? Um, Lod. 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 Yeah, where do we touch our tongue in Lod? You touch the left side um, to the left side of the roof. Good job. Brilliant. Masha Allah. All right. Shamir, you tell me which letter is this? Lord. Lord. Good job. All right. Shamir, <clears throat> since you are living in USA, you will be going in different masajid. There will be people from the Arab world. There will be people from other countries. And they may pronounce this letter as Dod. Have you ever heard the pronunciation of this alphabet like this? Yeah, my Sunday school teacher hmm. was from Pakistan and she taught it to me like that. Yeah. So, in Surah Fatiha, in the Quran, in the Salah, in the five time prayers, they will be saying, Waladdalin. Now, there is a problem in pronouncing this alphabet like this. And uh, I will be share, I will be sharing this information with you so that you are not overwhelmed and you are not overpressured and you have a solid background, a solid argument against those who want to make you say this alphabet otherwise okay because if we okay. have a substantial background a substantial uh, information a reference a solid reference to back up what we are doing and what we are reading then inshallah nobody can pressurize us we have the argument we can say to other people you read the alphabet as you like but i will read as i know and i have a solid understanding i am not doing this without any knowledge i'm not just following my teacher blindly i have the solid uh, foundation and solid information to back up my point this is what i want from my students i need you to be certain in whatever you do you have to be clear about each and everything 
so that nobody could bully you. So, inshallah, uh, Hmm. All right. So. Okay. 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 It was. Um, yeah. Here we go. So first of all, I will give you a reference of Maulana Ashraf Ali Thanvi. Shamir, say Maulana. Maulana. Ashraf. Ashraf. Ali. Ali Thanvi Thanvi An Amina you say Maulana Ma Ashraf Ashraf Ali Ali Thanvi Thanvi Yeah may Allah have mercy yeah. on his soul may Allah have mercy on his soul because he has died long time ago 100 years ago he was an Indian scholar a very famous scholar and all of the scholars of the world respect him he was a great alim a great scholar of islam so he has written a book and the name of the title of the book is jamalul quran okay shamir first of all you say jamalul quran jamalul quran yeah and Amina, you also say Jamalul Quran. Jamal, Jamal. Lul Quran. Lul Quran. Yeah, good job. So in this book, in explaining the letter Wad, he says it is written in Urdu. I will just translate in English. So he says that many people read this letter as Dal, like Dod or dad which is very very wrong therefore we have to learn this alphabet from an experienced reciter of the quran from an experienced teacher of the jewels and then he says that some people also read it as the letter za so they read the letter Zod as a Zod. That is, that is also wrong. We should not do that. However, if we read the letter Zod from its correct position, if we place the left side of the tongue at the left roof of the mouth, <coughs> and then we decide this alphabet, then the sound and the resemblance of the alphabet Zod is very similar to Zod. But it does not, and it can never resemble the letter Dal. In all the famous Tajweed books, this rule is written. Are you getting my point, Shamir and Amina? Yes. <laughs> this is reference number one. Now comes reference number two. Maulana Rashid Ahmad Ludhyanvi, or Mufti Rashid Ahmad Ludhyanvi. May Allah have mercy on his soul. Has a treatise on the topic called Al Irshad Ila Makhraj Al Wad Ahsan Al Fatawa, <clears throat> Volume 3, page 89 to 104, in which he explains Wad has no resemblance with Dal because. Zod is a letter of Rahwa in which the continuation of sound being possible is necessary and Dal is from the letters of Shidda in which the continuation of the sound is not possible. <clears throat> no person in the entire world can recite Zod like Dal and make the sound continue. Now those who are deeply knowledgeable ab about the sciences of Tajweed, they can comprehend what is being said here. 
since you are not at this stage the language used here you may not comprehend but the main point is that zad cannot be read as dal this is the second maulana or mufti he was saying this the first one was maulana ashraf ali thanvi famous scholar maulana rashid ahmed ludhianvi from karachi he is also very famous scholar he says the same thing this single evidence from the foundations of the science of tajweed is sufficient to refute that it is similar sounding to that it is similar sounding to dal to refute refute means to reject this claim that it is similar sounding to dal the answer to which will not be possible till qiyamah is established after this foundational evidence no evidence is really necessary if anyone is able let him demonstrate a dal with continuation of the sound now this is a very very strong statement which molana has made so this is the second point and the third point is imam jazri imam jazri rahmatullah alay was a famous arab scholar from ancient times and he also said that people are pronouncing wad differently from different parts of the world for example in in sham in syria and the east people are reading as as law the letter law and people in egypt and west africa they are reading as the letter ta and uh, many people pronounce this letter as a full mouth dal like dad and some people from sudan they are reading this letter as like lord they are reading as as if it is lam all of them are wrong because when we place the left side of the tongue at the left roof of the mouth it is impossible to read it otherwise the only sound which we can produce is wad okay shamir let me demonstrate to you try to place the left side of the tongue to the left roof of the mouth make sure the right side of the tongue does not touch make sure that the tip of the tongue does not touch only the left side of the tongue touches now try to say dal are you able to say dal while touching your left side of the tongue to the left roof no i can't no you cannot because the position of the dal is different in the in the letter dal we have to place the tip of the tongue at the hill is it correct yes or no yes it, whenever i try to say it yeah. it just comes out like lord yeah so when we are reading when we are placing the tip of the tongue at the hill we are going to read the letter dal however when we need to say this alphabet the position of the tongue is different totally different we have to place the left side of the tongue at the left roof and we cannot pronounce this alphabet as this one so this is wad not dad if we say dad the tip of the tongue will be touching at the hill is it correct yes or no yes yes so in order to pronounce this alphabet correctly we have to position our tongue correctly and if we position our tongue correctly it's impossible to read this letter instead of this so this is wad are you getting my point shamir yeah yeah so now nobody can pressurize you in saying this alphabet otherwise we have the evidence you can show the video and you can tell that person to have a debate with my teacher if you have some more problem but do not engage in useless discussions with anyone we as muslims have to follow islam properly demonstrate our character tell the truth respect our elders help the people help the neighbors help the needless people the weak ones we have to say pay the charity we have to say do good deeds be responsible citizens of the state be responsible citizens of the society and that's the end of it we don't have to argue and uh, go on debates on useless topics are you getting my point shamir yes if the other person is still not convinced and he wants to say it dot it is his problem okay it is between him and allah but we are going to pronounce it the way we have learned it properly from tajweed books and from our teacher we have the evidence we have to follow our evidence we must not uh, see who is doing what 
okay we are not responsible for other people we are responsible for our, for our own selves first of all and then our immediate family members who for for example our younger brother or sister and later on when we get married later on then our children uh, but we are not responsible for everybody so if other people are doing the wrong thing our job is to just educate them once and then if they want to be if they are convinced well and good if they are not no problem we will just uh, follow the evidence which we have faith in and that's the end of it are you getting my point shamir yes good job man all right <clears throat> so later on you may encounter some problematic people when you grow up that is why i have explained this alphabet in detail and that is why i went into evidence uh, so that you are not confused when you encounter such people because there are some stubborn and angry people without reason who want to argue and just want to waste time okay okay yeah all right shamir which alphabet is this one ta ta okay where do we touch our tongue in ta back side of your body yeah <coughs> it is actually at the hill the hill yeah and more part of the tip of the tongue will be touching and um, covering more area of the hill as compared to the letter ta this is the difference which ta. we need to remember yeah so this is ta it's a heavy letter it has the o sound okay amina which alphabet is this ta ta good job and shamir which letter is this Zo. Zo. Good job. So Shamir, where do we touch our tongue in zo? Um, the neck and the now it's the back side of the upper teeth. Good job. Back side of the upper teeth. Okay, Amina, you tell me which letter is this? Zo. Zo. Good job. Shamir, which alphabet is this? Ain. Ain comes from which place? The middle throat. Good job. Is it a deep letter? Yeah. And is it a light letter? Yeah. Good job. Okay, Amina, which alphabet is this? Ain. Ain. Good job. Anyway, guys, have you noticed that all the heavy letters are in blue color here? Yeah. Only the raw is not in blue color. Later on, when we will read the signs and learn the signs, I will tell you why is it not blue, although it is heavy. but sometimes is it not heavy so where it is heavy and where it is not we will learn that later inshallah okay but rest of the alphabets which are heavy are in blue are you getting my point yes <clears throat> all right okay shamir which letter is this coin 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 comes from which place the top throat the top throat good job okay amina you tell me which letter is this Coin. Coin. Brilliant. Is coin a heavy one or a light one? Heavy. Heavy. Good job. Okay, Shamir. Which alphabet is this? Fa. Fa. So we have to place the top tooth or the top teeth at the inside of the lower lip, at the wet area of the lower lip. Fa. Okay, Amina. You tell this. Which letter is this? Fa. Fa. Good job. Okay, Shamir. Which alphabet is this? Kof. 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 Okay. Where do we read the letter Kof from? The back side of the roof. Back side of the roof. Good job. I mean, uh, you tell me which letter is this? Kof. Kof. When you say the letter Kof, do you have that bouncy feeling at the back side of the roof? Yes. Good job. All right, Shamir. Which letter is this? Kaf. Kaf. And this one? Lam. This one? Mim. This one? Noon. This one? Wow. This one? Ha. Is ha sharp or is is soft? Soft. Okay. Where do we read the letter ha from? The lower throat. The lower throat. Good job. Okay, which one is this? Hamza. This one? Yeah. Amina, you tell me which letter is this? Ta. 
Yeah, cough. Say it loudly, please. Holding the mic. Ka. Yeah, cough. Ka. Yeah, the fa sound will be at the end. Cough. Cough. Yeah, this one. Lam. This one. Neem. This one. Noon. This one. Wow. This one. Ka. This one. Kamza. This one. Good job, mashallah. Today the alphabets are clear. So, inshallah. Also, yeah, what? Um, Kaf and Lam a little bit similar. Okay. When we will read the combination of the alphabets, there will be more differences between the two alphabets. For the time being, just understand that the mouth of the calf is more wider as compared to the mouth of the lamb. Okay. Secondly, calf, you will usually find calf in this shape. There will be a, yeah, so there will be a branch or a stick coming outside of the letter calf. Calf will usually be found in this shape. And in this shape, will also you will find calf, but it will be less in number. More times, more oftenly, or oftenly, you will find calf in this shape. Are you getting my point, Amina? Yes. And now, Brother, if you compare both of these shapes, they are very, very different. Is it correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Will there still be an S in the middle of calf? Yeah, S will be when there will be no stick. Sometimes, okay. yes, sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the times, sometimes. This will be in this shape also. <clears throat> all right. So, Alhamdulillah, all the alphabets are clear now. So, now actually the time is very short. And the Zoom meeting is going to uh, end because it has a 40 minutes uh, limit. So tomorrow, we will do two things. First of all, we will uh, just do the letter songs so that all of the alphabets are revised one more time. Uh, and we will also do the points for today and tomorrow together. So you have to remind me to do the points tomorrow, inshallah. Okay? Okay. All right. So, if you have any questions regarding the alphabets, you may ask. Sh uh, Shamir, is everything clear? Yes. Okay, Amina, is there any question? No. All right. So, just uh, watch the recorded lesson and just uh, read all the alphabets from Alif to Ya, including the letter Lord. This time, you have to just send me the... Uh, voice message are you getting my point yes all right good job both of you guys did very well mashallah wish you best of luck assalamu alaikum rahmatullah assalamu alaikum okay you have to say wa alaikum assalam wa alaikum assalam rahmatullah yeah good job